World of Warcraft versus Final Fantasy XIV Dungeons. Hey all, today we are going to discuss dungeons in Final Fantasy XIV and World of Warcraft. Dungeons are an important staple to any MMORPG, and both WoW and Final Fantasy XIV have very good dungeons that share many similarities. But today we will delve more into what makes them different, and which game I think does dungeons better. Just as a disclaimer, the footage from WoW is not my own. I've given credit in the video and provided links, so you can watch them yourself. So without further ado, let's begin. Part 1. First Difference One of the first differences between WoW and Final Fantasy XIV dungeons is that Final Fantasy XIV requires the player to unlock all the dungeons, and also requires players to run most of them. Once you get to the level 15 main story quest, you will be sent through Sestasha, Final Fantasy XIV's very first dungeon, which has a suspiciously similar Deadmine feel to it. And until you clear Sestasha, you won't be able to progress within the main story quest. Without progressing through the MSQ, you don't get access to other dungeons, raids, trials, even expansions. So it's a pretty big deal. In WoW, you can level to cap, go to whatever expansion you want, without ever stepping into a dungeon, and the barrier to entry is usually the player's physical level and or item level. Some rare dungeons require a quest to enter, but those are the exception rather than the rule. I think the fact that Final Fantasy XIV makes players run dungeons before progressing is a very good thing. First of all, one of the main anxieties of many new players is grouping up for the first time. In Final Fantasy XIV, that band-aid is ripped off quick. Players can learn the dynamics of group content early on in a low-stake dungeon, where mistakes can happen without leading to too much trouble. As a side note, Final Fantasy XIV even requires players to clear trials, which are raid-like encounters, meaning that through the MSQ, players will experience all forms of PvE content. This also means that the developers have a baseline of skill that they can design from, they know what trials and dungeons every single player had to clear to get into the next bits of content, so the difficulty of the dungeons and trials has always been increasing from expansion to expansion. I'm excited to see what's in store with Endwalker, considering how mechanically dense some of the later dungeons and trials in Shadowbringers actually were. Part 2. Dungeon Design when it comes to the design of the dungeons, both Final Fantasy XIV and WoW do an amazing job. Dungeons over the years have ditched the big open exploration type design for a more focused experience. Dungeons are straightforward, with action set pieces and spectacle for players to enjoy. I think the dungeon that is most influential to this kind of design was World of Warcraft's Dead Mines. The layout for this dungeon? It's amazing. You start off in a mine. As you fight your way through hordes of miners, you eventually wind up in a goblin foundry. The lighting changes to reflect the new scenery, where molten hot metal is dripping out of the huge foundry located in the center of the room. You can almost feel the heat radiating from it. Continuing onwards, you find yourself in an underground cove with a pirate ship sitting on the water. Doesn't that just ooze the goonies? I'm sure that was the inspiration here. I'm just disappointed there wasn't a cave slide for us to ride and a squid boss for us to fight. If you haven't seen the Goonies, highly recommended. This is one of my favorite types of dungeons, where you start in one place and by the end you are somewhere completely unexpected. I also really like dungeons where there is a lot of action and destruction happening around you. That kind of spectacle hypes up the experience. The thing is, I firmly believe Final Fantasy XIV has taken the crown when it comes to this. I did an entire video on my top 10 favorite Final Fantasy XIV dungeons, which I will link somewhere around here and in the description if you want to watch that. There are three reasons I think Final Fantasy XIV does a better job here. Number one, the dungeons are tied to the main story quest. So when you enter a dungeon, there is already a lot at stake beforehand. I feel that adds a lot to the dungeon's experience. When I think of one of my favorite dungeons in WoW, it's the Culling of Strathalm, because of its story and lore significance. Most of the dungeons in FF14 are like that, heavy with lore and story significance. Number 2. 
The dungeons all have unique pieces of music written for them. While WoW certainly has good atmospheric music, I prefer a big orchestral piece to hype up the mood. It's sort of like the difference between a John Williams and Hans Zimmer score. Both are great, but one of them I will be humming for years to come, and the other I will forget after the movie. Also, when you fight bosses in Final Fantasy XIV, they play boss music tracks. This really helps heighten the epicness of the fights. Number 3 Speaking of bosses, the bosses are much more cinematic in Final Fantasy XIV dungeons, partly due to the epic music playing, and partly due to how flashy the attacks and abilities are. This adds to the spectacle. There are some WoW examples of this, such as the final boss in The Other Side, named Muzala. I love that fight because the spectacle helps it pop. Muzala is a huge boss, telegraphing attacks with his huge hands, spawning bombs, and you teleport around the arena to kill ads. It's a really cool fight. And in Final Fantasy XIV, that happens all the time. There are just so many more encounters that ooze with that kind of cool. Part 3, Dungeon Difficulty. So in terms of dungeon difficulty, WoW takes the crown for this one, no question. WoW has multiple difficulties for their dungeons, which include Normal, Heroic, Mythic, and Mythic Plus. Normal? That is leveling dungeons, and every other difficulty is tuned for max level play. The other thing to consider is the dungeons, trash mobs, and WoW are much more challenging, especially once you start hitting the Mythic Plus variants. Proper use of crowd control, such as stuns, interrupts, and knockbacks, well, they become necessary to succeed. Contrasting that with Final Fantasy XIV, where trash packs are mostly gathered up and AoE down, kind of like Wrath of the Lich King dungeons, am I right? WoW's trash packs are much more interesting in terms of mechanics. Also, once you start getting into the higher levels of Mythic Plus, which is a difficulty that scales to infinity, where the stats of enemies are increased with each level, and at various levels from 2 to 10, they add affixes that change the way enemies behave, or add dungeon hazards. If you aren't playing perfectly at the upper levels, you will die in one hit. Final Fantasy XIV dungeons do not get remotely that difficult. I'd say they are on the heroic side if I were to make a direct comparison. Part 4. Dungeon Replayability The replayability of dungeons is very important, especially since dungeons are what most players will engage with most of the time. So, I think Final Fantasy XIV wins this category. Here's the thing, WoW certainly has replayability due to how difficult the max level dungeons can scale and how important it is to run them for gear. But Final Fantasy XIV dungeons also incentivize gear and incentivize players to run all the dungeons due to how their roulette system works. Essentially, roulette puts you in a random dungeon that can fall into a variety of level ranges, scales you to that dungeon's level, and because of that, you often run dungeons from all the expansions. You aren't just stuck playing the dungeons in the current expansion, like you are in WoW. You run through all the dungeons and are rewarded for doing so. I think the fact that Final Fantasy XIV can keep all its dungeons relevant throughout the expansions is the reason it edges out WoW in terms of dungeon replayability. So judging by these different metrics, I think Final Fantasy XIV is the overall winner when it comes to dungeons. If all you care about is the dungeon's difficulty, then WoW is your game. But I think on the whole, Final Fantasy XIV outshines WoW when it comes to dungeons. I do wish that Final Fantasy XIV had more difficulty options to give their dungeons the whole shebang. But like I said earlier, the dungeons in both these games are great, and it boils down to personal preference. And mine, in this case, is Final Fantasy XIV. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. Hope you had a good time. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.